Guys, I had no intention of vlogging this week. No intention, because I have nothing going on. But I decided to take an impromptu trip to Westfield. It's my day off, it's raining. I got my hair done. So my hair dresser is not far from my local Westfield. So I thought, you know what? I haven't shopped in a really long time and I was craving to go to TK Maxx. And lucky me, I have a TK Maxx. TK Maxx is very close to me. I just wanted to stroll. You know, sometimes you just want to stroll. That's how I was feeling. Like, I didn't have intention to buy anything, but, you know, you could always find something at TK Maxx. I treated myself to a bubble tea. It's so good. It was from a place called King Tea. Never heard of it. Mango, panna cotta, coconut milk. With little, I don't really care about the bubble. The little jellies, but I think they're coconut jellies. It's so good. If you like coconut, you like this. Oh my god, my local price line closed down. I literally don't even know where to go. So this is my other closest, but I don't like going to Westfields if I can avoid it. I like going to small classes. I thought I'll just go to price line and on the way I went to this place I'm gonna show you. But I walked into price line bare. All the makeup was like empty, man. It's like really empty. Um, I've been wanting to try some NYX products that aren't actually on their website yet, but are in store. And nothing. Nothing. Re Makeup Revolution. Empty. Essence. Empty. Everything was empty. There's like very much going through um, more supply than demand at the moment in terms of just consumerism. It's quite crazy to watch. Anyway, I went to TK Maxx and I got something I've really been wanting. I actually mentioned I'm in here and you guys have great suggestions. You know the, the heatless hair curls? I got it. I got it at TK Maxx. I couldn't find it. It came up because everything is empty. Everything is empty. Um, and with the kitsch on Mecca, you have to order it and then, like, it's, I just wanted to find something in store. Anyway, I found this. And it actually comes with a scrunchie and hair clips. I got it for $13. And I cannot wait. Should I do it tonight? My hair is being blow dried, but by tomorrow it'll be frizzy. I just got to that hair type where it just, in this humidity, I've got no chance. Let me try it open. Anyway, I was so excited to see this. I was hoping I could find a silk bonnet for my daughter, but Australia just doesn't cater to curly hair that well, I'll be honest. Oh, I see, because they hold the hair at the end. I get it. Um, two hair clips, which look really cool. And then, Oh, oh, I'm so excited to do that. Wow, $13. I'm very, very impressed with that. Very, very happy. And then I got some winter slippers. I do have Ugg boots, but sometimes you just want to wear slippers through the house, you know? Sometimes I don't want to have to, like, put a whole Ugg boot on. I just want a cute little slipper. These were on clearance for $11, and they're from a brand called Ellen Tracy, and they're very soft. Very, very soft. Again, I, I got a uh, dress for Ivy for winter. I sized up because my daughter is so tall. Like, she's narrow. Like, she's small. But she's tall. She's so tall. So, she's a size 5 at the moment and she's 4. But I got her a size 6 because it's just got that little bit more length. So, it's going to be too big for her, but it's a sweater dress. So, it doesn't matter. Look, it looks like it could fit me. Um, but isn't it so cute for winter time with some stockings? And then I got some bath, some soap because we ran out. We've been using like hotel bath soap that you seal. This is a uh, Bergamotto Vegetal Soap made in Italy, like a proper. Oh gosh, it smells so good. So it's bergamot, but it smells like there's lime in there as well. And I bought these five like simple soaps with shea butter. Triple milled body soap, and these are made in New Zealand. So I just like some really nice, cool quality soaps. Um, and then that's all I got from TK Maxx. And then when I was walking to Priceline, I saw, because I don't shop at my local Westfield much, I'll be honest, because I work in a Westfield, I often don't go to other Westfields, but this Westfield that's near my house is way better. It's got so much stuff. I could have spent so much money. So I ended up just leaving, so I didn't. <laughs> but I wanted to go to all the shops. So there was this K-Beauty shop. K-Beauty or J-Beauty both shop in my Westfield. Um, I live in a Westfield that's in a Chinatown. Uh, and so they have really cool, there was even a, um, 
Innisfree, you know the cake beauty brand? Innisfree was, had its own store in the Westfield. So cool. Anyway, so there was this cake beauty shop and it had everything. I was like resisting to buy everything because I have been wanting to get into more cake beauty skincare, more skincare than makeup. Um, so I picked up a couple of things. So I got one makeup item. And the price is like, you've got to consider that it's, you know, coming from Korea and Japan. So I think there was a little bit of upsale, but it was called W Cosmetics. W Cosmetics, if you want to look it up. I don't know if they have any other stores. Uh, so I got this Into You Lip Syrup Glossy Lip Tint. It looks like the Tower 28 lip, lip glosses. And they looked really, really nice. Oh, I just had so much fun in there, guys. Look, it looks just like the Tower 28 one. And it's like this really light brown tint. It's so pretty. I put on a little bit now. Mm. I almost bought the Dr. Jart Jart BB cream. There was only one shade, but it would have been suitable for me because I'm fair. Um, but it was thirty dollars, so it's something I would like to try. Though I've heard really good things about the Dr. Jart BB cream. They had the Misha, the Misha BB cream that I bought online. It was, I think, $20, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So they had makeup, skincare, body care. They had literally everything. They even had perfume. This was $19. So not cheap. And I'm not saying this stuff was cheap, but it wasn't expensive. Um, I got this. Bore UV Mineral Gentle Milk with SPF of 50. Now, I know this is a V1. I couldn't find the one that is the really popular one. They had a few different ones, but they told me I picked up two that looked exactly the same, and they said this one was better for oilier skin. So I got this one, and they said it's like a runny lotion, which is perfect. I can't wait to use that. Then I got a couple of minis because, you know, I'm spending money here. I got this brand, Beauty of Joseon. Jo Joseon? Joseon. I already have a glow serum that I have not used yet. I'm waiting to use it in winter because I'm too glowy right now, naturally. I've already powdered and I'm glowy again. So I'm waiting to use that in winter, but this is a really good brand. So I got the Essence. This was $15, so it wasn't cheap, but I find Essence's, Essence's last me a really long time. So this is a Ginseng Essence Water, and this one I got on sale. It was $12. Oh, sorry. It was $12. I got it for $10, which is not bad, actually. This is the last product that I got. This is the All Clean Balm from Hymish. I've heard wonderful things. This is the small one, and I got this for $15. And I think the bigger one was about $30. So I'm super keen to try this. Mm, it just smells really clean. And this is still a decent size, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's all the stuff I got. I did well. I did so well. This was, just made my day. Oh my gosh, it was so exciting. I think I'm gonna take my makeup off. I just did very basic makeup for the hairdresser. And I might do a get ready with me video or something. Or like, yeah, cause I have to film. I haven't got any videos to post. Um, so. I was actually just about to start filming. And then I remember that I got some PR that I could show you guys. So that's so exciting. I love watching vlogs with PR. So um, I thought often I get PR, but all of a sudden I got contacted all in the same week. So I got three parcels, um, which I'm very excited about. So I just washed my face and I've just put some serum on, but I haven't put moisturizer on. And um, I want, cause I'm gonna put this on here with you guys. I got a package from TBH Skincare. They're Australian, I believe. Yeah, so these guys are Australian and they focus on acne prone skin, I believe, which is good for me. I'm not acne prone, but I'm oily, so it's going to cleanse without stripping. So, like deep cleanse without stripping. So, they sent me two cleansers. I used the Gentle Hack, the Acne Hack Gentle Cleanser just now. I've given this one to my husband because I got two, and I'm keeping the Acne Hack Antibacterial Cleanser because I get a little bit more pimply than he does. Um, I really, really like this one and I will be the first person to say I am extremely picky with cleansers. I, there's, I, I like, I don't like, there's more that I don't like than I do like. 
and I really like this. It fully cleans my face and I just had makeup on. It fully cleans my face, but it doesn't feel tight. So I really like this. It's a gentle gel-based formula suited to sensitive skin. So this one's the Acne Hack Gentle Cleanser and then there's the Acne Hack Antibacterial Cleanser. I have not used this one yet because I'm still trying to finish up. I have two that I'm currently using. So if you've been thinking about trying this brand out, so far I really like. But I also sent me the Thirst Trap Face Moisturizer. I'm gonna put this on right now with you guys. I have not used this yet because I still have um, moisturizers that I'm using. But I'm very keen to use this. Oh, I was so excited when they contacted me because I really like this brand. And it's Australian. And their packaging is environmentally friendly, manufactured using solar energy and made from sugar cane, the packaging. Okay, this is nice. This is just like, feels like a light moisturizer, which is what I like. And then I also got, um, you know, Lounge Face. How cute is the packaging? Lounge Face is the brand by Loz Curtis, the YouTuber. Well, they contacted me to send me their mascara. And I believe it's a tubing mascara. This is gorgeous. It's like that um, NARS. You know how NARS does that flat matte rubbery feeling packaging? It's that. So it just says mascara, but as far as I know, it's tubing. Because I had a look at their website. Oh, it's made in the USA. And then lastly from L'Oreal, sent me a little note, love it when they do that, um, they sent me their two brand new mascaras, so I got three mascaras, go me, so one's tubing which is great, and then we have the, I think I'll definitely use one of these in my video today, the L'Oreal, this is the Pro XXL Lift and the Pro XXL Volume, I am more of a lift gal, so this is the lift. The red one is to lift. Oh, I like that wand. And it's a regular brush or... No, I think it's the, the silicon. What is it? And then that side's a brush. It's like curved, number two. Step one, volumize. Step two, lift. Cool. And then the volume mascara is silver. I shouldn't have broken this packaging because I want to put this on Instagram. Uh, so what's the idea with this one? Step one is volumize. Step two is lengthen. So the red one is volumize and lift. The silver one is volumize and lengthen. Is that a yeah. similar, similar thing? So one. Oh, one is white. Or oh, maybe I want to use this one. And then, oh, that looks good. Maybe I'll use this one in the video, I think. I think I'm most excited to try that now, now that I see that as white. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's everything that I've got. So now I'm going to film a video, which is going to be, um, I'm literally making it on the spot. I'm going to do a get ready with me because I'm going out for dinner tonight. So it's going to be legit. And I want it to be long wear because it's the middle of the day now. And I'm not going out until 6.30. So I'm going to make it a get ready with me of current favorites and new. Hey guys, I've decided to merge two weeks of vlog footage or two Wednesdays, not two weeks. I went to, um, if you live in Sydney, Broadway in the city. It's like going to the city without going to the city because you can still park. Um, so I went to Broadway because I wanted to go to Sephora. It's my closest Sephora. And um, I really want to get the uh, Makeup Forever HD powder. And then I had a little peruse. It's my day off. As you guys know, Wednesday is my day off. And um, gosh, it was nice. And then I went to Mecca and they had the perfume I've been wanting to get because they don't have it in the store that I work at. So I ended up getting a few things that I'm going to show you after this. Um, but yeah, I did some of my food shopping while I was there because there's a coals there. So, you know, two birds, one stone. So I'm going to put all of this away and I'm going to, then going to have some breakfast because I haven't eaten yet and it's like 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to have some breakfast because I bought, I had this beautiful bread shop at the front of Coles called Shepherd's Artesian Bakehouse and they like slice it in front of you so I know it's fresh. This is a charcoal loaf, you know, just thought I'd give it a try, maybe soak up some toxins and um yeah, so I'm going to just have maybe some eggs on toast. And then I really want to make uh, that 
viral tomato pasta where you put these um, with cheese, feta cheese. I don't have feta cheese. I have a little bit of this lavender left. Um, my, I have a cafe that just opened nearby and this due date was the next day. So she gave it to me for free because I wanted to buy it. Um, she gave it to me for free. So I need to finish this Labna spread. So I'm going to put those two together with garlic and make that pasta in the oven. And that's going to be my lunch for the next two days. So that's my plan with that. I've got some really nice pasta. I don't often buy nice pasta, but this looks really nice. Made in Italy. And because I'm in Broadway, there's like some really nice things. It's a little bit more artesian, you could say. It's so humid. It's not even like temperature-wise that hot. But it is like the humidity. I, will, I can't get over it. I know I complain every single video, but I just cannot get over the humidity. So um, I'm going to make that tomato thing that I just said. And then I'm also making lamb shanks in the slow cooker for Vincent and the children. Because your girl is going out for dinner going out with my girlfriend who i used to work with oh yeah is there bubbles in that bubble yeah mm. that's right um if you're from sydney you might have heard of that really fancy argentinian restaurant restaurant called patino i used to live around the corner from it in surrey hills but they burnt down and they've moved locations <laughs> So I thought they didn't exist anymore, but they do. And where I'm going there for dinner with my friend, her cousin, who's from France, visiting. Um, maybe someone else, but I think definitely us three. I'm so excited, because it's like, not dress up, dress up, but kind of dress up. So super keen for that. So I'm going to make, I was gonna do it anyway, but I'm just not gonna be here for dinner. Okay, burn, uh, burn the pan. I do that all the time. Okay, let's make this. Well, my eggs burn. <laughs> I don't have any tomatoes from the garden, so I just used them all. What did I use them all in? I can't remember. Um, some garlic. I might even just um, smash them and leave them in the skin. Then I'll just dollop the rest of that lavna, which is a yogurt cheese, which will be nice. With it. Just some Italian herb. Um, I do have fresh. I do have fresh herbs, but maybe, yeah, I will get fresh herbs because I need to go put a load of washing on. So I'll go downstairs and get some oregano, oregano and basil and parsley because that's all downstairs. So I might go do that. I just went down to the garden and look what I got. I haven't been down in a couple of days. Tomato. We're going to add these three. What are they called? Yellow beam pear tomatoes. Oh, I've got four, sorry. Another one, I've been taking them off early because of caterpillars have been getting in. I've got a little shishito pepper. I'm gonna add that in. I've got parsley. Um, I didn't have a lot of regular basil, but I have this blue spice basil, so we're gonna add that in. And I might just, um. Oh, and oregano. I love oregano. I'm just going to put it in. Like, pretty roughly. I love herbs. I'm a herb gal. And then I'll put some olive oil. Lots of olive oil. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to put that in. Looks good, doesn't it? So here's how we're looking. I'm put some vegetable powder in. It just adds extra flavour. And I made this one myself with my dehydrator. I'm going to add these in before I leave so they don't get too mushy. And then I'll add some cubes in and then that is it. Oh my God. I usually like to add red wine, but I don't have any. Let's check the pasta. Oh, she's sizzling. I'm very excited for that actually. Okay, I'm gonna have my breakfast now. And then I'm gonna show you everything that I bought at um, Sephora and Mecca. Open her. Oh, it's a big one. So it's all done. But I think that's going to be a great lunch for two days. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to reveal the midriff. 
This is actually a set that I got from Princess Polly. We're picking an outfit for tonight, by the way, if you didn't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to vibe my mood when I, cause I'm gonna have a shower now. That's why I'm picking my outfit now. I mean, I feel comfortable. I feel secure. I just don't know if I can pull off the midriff. Let's have a look at something else, shall we? I want to be comfortable. It's so humid. I actually, I actually love this dress. It's a bit see-through, but I'm well, wear nude underwear. I reckon I could wear this and like just kind of like dress it up a bit. What do you reckon? I'd be sick. Super comfortable. I'll do like like a nice nude heel. Yeah, that could be nice. It's whole time. I've had my shower, had a little rest. Right, let's start with Mecca because I really basically got one thing. I got this from my nan, the Radiant Longwear. It's my favourite. So that's for Nan. This I've been saving up for. Not saving up for, sorry. This I've been wanting for like a year, year and a half. I've been wanting this the first, the first time I smelt it. I had the little tiny one and I've been saving it and I've only used it like three times. But it's the one. I pretty much don't buy perfume because I'm fortunate enough to get it at work. Um, not, not full size. Well, sometimes I get full size. But... I bought Dear Polly from Wilhelm Perfumery. Wilhelm Perfumery, Dear Polly. I'll link it down below for you guys. This, this is the perfume. I got the 50 ml because I don't need 100 ml. I think it retails for about $240. And pretty much all their fragrances are amazing, but this is my favorite. And then I also want to get Mango Skin. That's the other one that I love. And then I went to Sephora. I decided to go into Sephora because... When I buy online, I'm just going to have a quick little rant here, and I'm sure you guys will agree. They don't package their stuff properly. You can't get refunds or exchanges. Like, their policy is tight. It's not good. I've had issues in the past. Last time I ordered an eyeshadow, it came totally busted. And I really wanted to buy the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet, but I knew if I bought it online, it would come broken. Because all, stuff always comes broken. So I decided to make the effort and go into the city. It's not like huge effort, but you know, it's not local. So I went in, I'm glad I did. The only, there was one other thing I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy the Huda Beauty um, loose setting powder in the cherry one, the pink one, but they were out of stock and it's out of stock online as well. So um, I'll keep an eye on it though, because it looked really, really nice. Anyway, I got this and I'm about to do my video on YouTube reviewing it. I got the shade 1N06. So that's the shade I got. I think that'll be good. I think it'll be good. The other shades, some of them looked too pink or too yellow. This looks pretty neutral, so I am confident it'll be okay. And I saw people on TikTok using the sponge and it actually looks really good with the sponge. So I'm so excited to try this. Not usually excited about powders, but I feel like this one's going to be really good. Then I got the LYS Concealer, guys. I got it. It is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I got the shade um, LN3. Um, you guys have raved about this, so that's why I bought it. It's because of you guys. Then I got the Sephora Colorful Metal Effect. This is the thing that I bought online and it came smashed. So I swatched them in store. A lot of them were sold out. My favorite is Chock Shock. I already have that. And I bought that in store as well. So I was like, while I'm there, I'm gonna buy another one. This is Touch of Silk. It's beautiful. And then I got another perfume. I didn't plan on buying this, but I went in store to smell everything, all the new perfumes. On TikTok, I do New Beauty in Australia. And I talk about everything new, like brand new, like I do here, but short, within three minutes. And I did Mecca. Lots of new perfumes. The new Tom Ford Electric Cherry and Cherry Smoke. I smelt both. 
from Tom Ford and I actually loved both of them. I thought I would love one, hate the other, but I loved both of them. And someone on my TikTok commented said, they're pricey, you need to smell Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. I've always wanted to smell it, but I was at Sephora, finally. So I got to smell it and oh my God, I loved it. So I bought the 35 ml because I don't need another one coolly. I've already bought a perfume. But 35 mil will be good for me. Not 35 mil, 10 mil, it was $35. That'll be totally fine. And I love the smell of cherry, maraschino cherry specifically. Love it. And then I just got my 100 points. 100 points are better in store than online. So I got the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm in shade Nearly Natural. And I got this because I don't really have much Rare Beauty and it's hard to get Rare Beauty. It's always sold out. So that looks really nice. Mmm nice and then i also got the youth to the people super clay purify and clear power mask nice in my kombucha and bha and i definitely want to use this asap pretty decent size hey this was 100 points yeah i get quite a few uses out of that so that's cool that's everything that i got so now i'm going to do my full face oh, actually i'm going to do some tiktok videos of this um, and then I'm going to do a full face on YouTube. Then I'll come back and show you what I look like. But I've got my dress. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. I burnt my back yesterday. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear. Honestly, I'll probably wear flats because this isn't really a heel kind of dress. I don't know. I don't know how to dress in this heat. I do not know how to dress in heat. Winter, love it. Layers, boots, stocking cute skirt blazer coat love it summer i'm just like what am i supposed to wear i can't breathe 